Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be installing an OWC data doubler in a 13-inch MacBook Pro mid-2010 model. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our MacBook Pro in a soft, static-free workspace. To begin, close and turn your MacBook Pro over so that the bottom is facing up. There are a total of 10 Phillips screws we need to remove, starting with these three, which are longer than the other seven Phillips screws. Once all 10 Phillips screws have been removed, lift up on the bottom of the case and set it aside. The optical drive we are going to remove is located here. Both the ribbon cable and data connectors need to be unplugged here. Use your nylon pry tool to gently disconnect both cables. The first Phillips screw we need to remove is hidden under these wires next to the fan. Gently pull the wires out of the way and remove this Phillips screw. Now remove these two screws from this module. Now slide the module over and remove this Phillips screw. Remove this Phillips screw as well. Now use your nylon pry tool to lift the optical drive, then remove it from the MacBook Pro, being careful of any wires. We need to reuse the old optical drive hardware on the new OWC data doubler. First, unplug the data connector. Next, remove this bracket by removing the two Phillips screws. We can install any 2.5 inch SATA hard drive in the OWC data doubler, but for this video, we will be using an OWC Mercury Elite Solid State Drive, or SSD. Slide the SSD into the data doubler so that the SATA connectors fit together. Install the two black Phillips screws into these two holes to secure the data doubler and the SSD. Now plug in the SATA connector you removed from the old optical drive. Connect the bracket from the old optical drive onto the OWC data doubler using the two Phillips screws you removed from the bracket and the old optical drive. Now slide the OWC data doubler into the MacBook Pro underneath the wires and the sticker on the battery. Make sure that the data doubler is laying flat. The first two screws you will need are not the same Phillips screws that came out of the MacBook Pro. Use the two small silver screws that came with the OWC data doubler in these two locations. Now slide the module back in place and replace the two Phillips screws you removed earlier starting with the shorter of the two screws here. The last Phillips screw to attach is here, hidden underneath the wires. Carefully hold the wires to the side as you tighten this screw. Now plug in the SATA connector and the ribbon cable to the motherboard. Set the bottom of the MacBook Pro in place. Starting with the three longer Phillips screws here, screw in all 10 Phillips screws on the bottom of the MacBook Pro.
Turn your MacBook Pro over, open the case, and turn it on.